Hello guys, today I'm doing a quick review of the latest point release of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS version 16.04.4 LTS This is just a point release so there's not much to review but for people that are installing this from scratch the ISO files include the latest bug fixes and other upgrades so that you don't have to upgrade as much as you would have to if you installed it before this point four release. So this is just plain good old Unity desktop and the last official release from Canonical using Unity has their desktop, as you guys know, um, Canonical has moved away from Unity, starting with Ubuntu 17.10, they moved to GNOME 3, and the next LTS release, which is going to be Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, will also move to GNOME 3. So, there's nothing new here, it's just the good old Unity desktop that some people have learned how to enjoy and be efficient with. I was one of those people, although I also enjoy GNOME 3 and probably right now I like it more than I used to enjoy Unity. So let's open the resource monitor to check how much RAM this release is using after booting. And as you can see, it's 1 gigabyte of RAM. Let's check which version Firefox is running. and it's version 58.0.2 Let's also check which version of LibreOffice is included with this distro It's still version 5 Ubuntu LTS hasn't yet upgraded to version 6 of LibreOffice and this is your usual settings Unity style, which are rather different from the settings in GNOME 3, but both are quite enjoyable to use and well organized. Now let's open a terminal and check which version of the kernel is installed. So, this release, Ubuntu 16.04.4, includes kernel 4.13.0-36, which is the same kernel version that is currently installed in Ubuntu 17.10. So, they've backported that kernel from Ubuntu 17.10 to Ubuntu 16.04. Let's run the Spectre Meltdown Checker script. And unsurprisingly, as you can see, the status for all three variants of Spectre Meltdown is not vulnerable. This kernel is now fully secured against these, um, these vulnerabilities that were disclosed earlier this year. This is a safe kernel to use, which is quite important since this is a long-term support release. Let's skim through some of the bug fixes between Ubuntu 16.04.3 and this latest point release 
So first, uh, there's obviously some installation bug fixes. These ones are related to the installer software itself, so that people installing it for the first time now don't have to deal with those buggies that were affecting the previous releases. There are also upgrade bug fixes. These bug fixes smooth out the way for future upgrades into later releases of Ubuntu. For instance, if you want to upgrade from Ubuntu 16.04 LTS to Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And most importantly for desktop users, these are some of the bugs that were fixed for the desktop. As you can see, there were some important XORG bugs that were fixed and also bugs affecting GNOME software. Firefox Mesa Compass and the Unity desktop itself. As you can see there were quite a lot of bug fixes affecting Unity. And finally also some server and cloud related fixes. Thank you a lot for watching this video and please if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button below. As always, use Linux long and prosper.